glorious blessed day from the living stone congregation house of freedom israel praise the lord today is our message is very significant for all of us god is preparing god is equipping god is restoring you for something more say after me god is preparing me for more say again god is preparing me for more hallelujah god is god of abundance and god is god of supernatural amen life on that planet earth is hard it's not easy to live in this world with all the negative spirit with negative news with all the situation all around the world what we listen every day in the news god be merciful life is not fair people hurt you abandon you and leave you not good reason we live in the falling world distracted world really we are in the we are not yet in heaven amen we're not yet in new jerusalem we are merely passing through this falling place we are here to bring the light and love of Yeshua the Messiah Jesus Christ in this falling world. I hope you understanding what God is speaking to you today. Shine your light in the darkness. Pursue the peace and goodwill with all people. We are here to bring the light and love of Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, not only once in a while, but we are the light. Amen. Let God sort out of rest. He is our hope of glory. Messiah, Yeshua in us. Amen. But you are must to really take responsibility to be the great example of savior and redeemer in this world but our citizenship is in heaven amen we don't need to forget this we are here temporary right now in this falling world and we eagerly await a savior the lord jesus christ who by the power that enable him to bring everything under his control not our control under his control will transform our lovely bodies physical bodies so that they will be like his glorious body in philippians chapter 3 verse 20 to 21 amen please in this season in this time in this moment strengthen yourself in the lord god this is just temporary we will spend eternity in heaven with yeshua the messiah jesus christ amen for here we do not have enduring city but we are looking for the city that is to come through jesus yeshua therefore let us continue offer to god a sacrifice of praise the fruit of the lips that openly profess his name and do not forget to do good and to share with others for which with such sacrifice god is pleased 
I read right now in Hebrews chapter 13, 14 to 16. It's hard to hear the voice of God when you have already decided what you want His voice to say. I meet many people, please, Pastor, pray, pray for me. But you already decide what you want to hear from God. Okay, okay, it is good, but you must open to the Holy Spirit, to God, be refreshed and speak to you in sensitivity of His presence. Don't let your problems steal your promises. Give God Almighty your burdens today, your struggles, your situation. Give it today to God. Don't wait for tomorrow. Now is the moment in this day. Look, I find a beautiful verse in book of Psalms 55 verse 22. Give your burdens to the Lord. And He will take care of you. Hallelujah. Encourage verse. There is not a single moment God is not with you. In every step you take in your daily life, God is always there. He has even numbered your steps, which means He is extremely close to you think about that really in you breathe the air the oxygen you just took god is close that the bread you take amen god is so close to you deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 7 in the old testament says no other nation no matter how great has a good God who is so near when they need Him, as the Lord our God is to us. He answer us whatever we call for help. Thank you, Lord. And Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Messiah Yeshua Christ Jesus so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. But what is God preparing you for? What God is preparing you? You're never asking, Lord, what is you preparing me today? Preparation is the part of God's process in the season of grow. Amen? Like we see in Old Testament in book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, from 1 to 13, you read home, please. But in short way to say, tell us that there is the time for everything. And after this season of grow, we will enter a new season, the season of harvest. Hallelujah. I enter into the season of harvest. I prepare myself for some supernatural, miraculous breakthrough in 2022. I hope you also in great preparation. Abba Father God preparing you for glorious breakthrough. Amen. In first step, today God speak to us. If God is removing harmful people, difficult people, criticize people, damage people, places and things from your life, this is called be the preparation for a breakthrough. Amen. God don't build and even grow. He do try to grow seed in soil that is not good. He's not trying to put the seed in a place where it's not growing. He knew everything. That's why I mentioned God he know and build new ground where He 
familiar with this ground. And before God bring you into his presence, he will first cleanse you from all sin. Cleans you from all the negative feelings and thoughts. Cleansing you from everything what damage and not pleasing God Almighty. My way of understanding today in this point is that before God do a mighty work in your life, there will be first come a season of preparation. Before the victory comes. Hallelujah. Lord, I receive your victory. I receive your breakthrough today. Thank you, Majestic King. Thank you, God Almighty. Sometimes before God will bless you with a breakthrough, pay attention, He will first remove all the negative things from you, all the people, places, and things in your life that are causing you damage to your heart. Are you with me now? If God bless us before He prepare us, oftentimes we will miss the blessing of Jesus and once we go eat. God is preparing us always he don't want we miss the blessing hallelujah notice today please what Yeshua Jesus say in John chapter 15 from 1 to 5 can we open book of John in New Testament chapter 15 from 1 to 5 very popular verse it's all chapter 15 is very significant. From the beginning we read John 15 verse 1. I am the true grape wine. And my father is gardener. Second. He cut off every branch of mine that don't produce the fruit. And he prune the branches that do not bear the fruit so they will produce even more. Are you understand? Look in the thir third verse he say, You have already been pruned, cut, and purified by the message I have given you. For remind in me, and I will remind in you. For the branch cannot produce the fruit, if it is severed from the wine, and you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. Thank you, Lord. And the last one in fifth. Yes, I am the wine. You are the branches. Do so remain in me, and in them I will produce much fruit. For apart from the you, from me, you can do nothing. Oh Lord, you, we are totally, totally, totally depending on you, the Savior and Redeemer. We not do nothing without you. I also pay attention in John chapter 15, specifically in a second. Pay attention, notice in this. Yeshua Jesus say that even when you are bearing fruit, for God, He will cause you to grow even more fruit for Him by pruning you. This is a great example of how God often has to take us through a painful season of preparation before He can produce even more fruit in our personal lives to prune pay attention to prune means to cut away the excess so even more can be produced in your life if God is taking away the people places and things in your life that are hindering hiding you grow 
this is pruning process can be very hard and painful. Just know that this is the preparation for your breakthrough. What you're passing through maybe is difficult test. But this be for the breakthrough and victory and miracle signs and wonders in your personal life. Amen? And the last step, the second one, if God is taking you through a season of repentance and healing, this is called be the preparation for major massive breakthrough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Sometimes there are barriers. In Hebrew, we say machsom. Say after me, machsom. The barriers in our personal life that are blocking blessing. This machsom, it's the barrier ble block the blessings. Mesimat brachot, we say in Hebrew. Blocking the blessing. Oh, Lord. And other times, or ever, it's not the people, places, or things in our lives that are hindering you grow. Sometimes there are things with our own selves that are blocking God's blessing. I find in Hebrews chapter 12 from 5 to 6, powerful verse before we read, when there is the character issue, character, sometimes you have the heavy character, very strong character. Sometimes it's impossible to already God entering to your heart because you are too strong, like the steel, like the strong metal. When there is the character issue or one deep, one deep with us that is keeping us from living out our full potential as a new creation in Messiah Yeshua. God will take us through a season, pay attention, God take us through the season of repentance and healing in preparation for the great breakthrough. Hallelujah. In Hebrew chapter 12, 5 to 6, come we reading together, Hebrews chapter 12 in New Testament from 5 to 6. And have you forgotten that encouraging words God spoke to you as his children? He say, my child, don't make light of the Lord's, deci Lord's deci discipline and don't give up when he correct you. Six, for the Lord discipline does he loves and he punish each one except us his child. Wow. Hebrew chapter 12, verse 11. No discipline is enjoyable when it is happening. It's painful, but afterward there will be the peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. Discipline, I see in Hebrew chapter 12 from 5 to 11, you please read home, but discipline may feel like called hurted punishment, difficult punishment. But God's discipline is rooted always with unconditional love and, and goal and destiny of mankind making us blessed, righteous, and ultimately help us to live better and more fulfilling lives. Thank you, Jesus, Yeshua. In Proverbs chapter 3, 11 to 12, very clear say, instead of being angry that we are being disciplined, we shall am to be grateful for discipline that will train and cleanse our hearts and minds. This is in a short way to understand Proverbs chapter 3, 11 to 12. In other words, 
before breakthrough, pay attention now, that's more deeper before we finish. In other words, before your breakthrough, miracle breakthrough, God will often prepare you through loving discipline. Hallelujah. The purpose of God's discipline is not to punish us, but to transform us. God do not discipline us to really be struggle, but to condition us for life of a uh, usefulness and blessedness. Hallelujah. Lord, use me and bless me through this discipline. What I pass in through. Take care always, my brethren, through your thoughts. When you are alone with God or alone in your house or alone in your office or alone in your place on the bus on, on your work and take care of your words when you with people around you because people sometimes they are around you and you start to criticize and gossiping and speaking against don't forget the God's discipline. Your words is dangerous. And your thoughts is dangerous. That's why protect your thoughts, protect your words, and go forward. Can we pray together today? In one spirit, in one accord. Heavenly Father, Majestic King, the Prince of Peace. We are praying today, Lord, to you really change everything around me. What I need to change. Like you say in Romans chapter 11, 36. For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Abba Father, God Almighty fights and we win in the end. You God Almighty continue give us. The victory and breakthrough. You teach us in Psalm 18, 34. My hands for war. So that arms can be bent and bow for bronze. Thank you, Majestic King. Our prayers will be always answered. Certain promises don't look like they will come to pass. Don't be intimidated by circumstances. Don't give up. Continue to pray with confidence, expecting God to show Himself strong on your behalf, knowing that nothing is impossible and nothing is difficult for our God Almighty. He's preparing and equipping us. God give you always second chance. He give you second chance to repair everything we need to be repaired. And change everything we need to be changed. You survive for reason. Get up and start fulfilling God giving assignment. Thank you, glorious King. Restore my faith in you. Like you always say, faith is the license to access the presence of living God. When every dream ahead of you get really enter in, hallelujah, find a shelter in the presence of the living God for his presence change impossibilities and to possibilities in the name of the father son and the holy spirit yeshua the messiah jesus christ yes and amen with you today pastor daniel rosen the senior pastor of the living stone congregation house of freedom israel god be with you encourage you refreshing you restoring you 
for this season and time where we are. Excited season, victorious season, breakthrough season, miracle season before we are entering to 2022. Great breakthrough. Yes and amen.